Adama. Adama, Oromo, Adama or Hadama, the city officially known as Adama, one formerly known as Nazre, Nareti is a city in central Oromia. 2-3. Adama forms a special zone of Oromia and is surrounded by East Shewa zone. It is located at 8.54 degrees north 39.27 degrees east at an elevation of 1,712 meters, 99 kilometers southeast of Addis Ababa. The city sits between the base of an escarpment to the west, and the Great Rift Valley to the east. Overview. Adama is a busy transportation center. The city is situated along the road that connects Addis Ababa with Dawa. A large number of trucks use this same route to travel to and from the seaports of Djibouti and Aseb though the latter is not currently used by Ethiopia, following the Eritrean-Ethiopian War. Additionally, the new Addis Ababa-Djibouti railway runs through Adama. 3, 4, 5, 6. Adama University, formerly Adama Technical Teachers College, is located in Adama. Adama Stadium is the home of Adama City FC, a member of the Ethiopian Football Federation League. The city name Adama was derived from a popular hotel called Adama found in the city. The Oromo word Adami, which means a cactus or a cactus-like tree. 7. More specifically, Adami means euphorbia candelabrum, ate a tree of the Spurge family, while Hadami would mean Indian fig. 9. History. The city name Adama may have been derived from the Oromo word Adami, which means a cactus or a cactus-like tree. 10. More specifically, Adami means euphorbia candelabrum, 11 a tree of the Spurge family, while Hadami would mean Indian fig. 12 Following World War II, Emperor Haile Selassie renamed the town after Biblical Nazareth, and this name was used for the remainder of the 20th century. 5. In 2000, the city officially reverted to its original Oromo language name, Adama, 513 though, Nazareth, is still widely used. 14. In 2000, the government moved the regional capital of Oromia from Addis Ababa to Adama, 5 sparking considerable controversy. Critics of the move believed that the Ethiopian government wished to de-emphasize Addis Ababa's location within Oromia. 15, 16. On the other hand, the government maintained that Addis Ababa, has been found inconvenient from the point of view of developing the language, culture and history of the Oromo people. 14. On June 10, 2005, the Oromo People's Democratic Organization OPDO, part of the ruling EPRDF coalition, officially announced plans to move the regional capital back to Addis Ababa, the Oromo name for Addis Ababa, 17. Demographics. Based on the 2007 census conducted by the Central Statistical Agency of Ethiopia, CSA, this city has a total population of 220,212, an increase of 72.25% over the population recorded in the 1994 census, of whom 108,872 are men and 111,340 women. With an area of 29.86 square kilometers, Adama has a population density of 7,374.82. All are urban inhabitants. A total of 60,174 households were counted in this city, which results in an average of 3.66 persons to a household, and 59,431 housing units. The four largest ethnic groups reported in Adama were the Oromo 39.02%, the Amhara 34.53%, the Guruj 11.98%, and the Silt 5.02%. All other ethnic groups made up 9.45% of the population. Amharic was spoken as a first language by 59.25%, 26.25% spoke Oromifer and 6.28% spoke Gurugigna. The remaining 8.22% spoke all other primary languages reported. The majority of the inhabitants said they practiced Ethiopian Orthodox Christianity, with 63.62% of the population reporting they observed this belief, while 24.7% of the population were Muslim, and 10.57% were Protestant. 18. The 1994 national census reported this town had a total population of 127,842 of whom 61,965 were males and 65,877 were females. Transports. Adama is a busy transportation center. The city is situated along the road that connects Addis Ababa with Dawa. 
A large number of trucks use this same route to travel to and from the seaports of Djibouti and Aseb though the latter is not currently used by Ethiopia, following the Eritrean-Ethiopian War. Additionally, the new Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway runs through Adama. 3, 4, 5, 19. Education. The Adama University was founded in 1993. Places of worship. Among the places of worship, they are predominantly Christian churches and temples, Oriental Orthodox, Ethiopian Orthodox Tewahedo Church, Protestant, Ethiopian Evangelical Church Mechaniesis, Evangelical Christian, Kale Haywet Word of Life Church, Full Gospel Believers Church, Catholic, Ethiopian Catholic Archipachi of Addis Abeba. 20 There are also Muslim mosques. Sport. Adama Stadium is the home of Adama City FC, a member of the Ethiopian Football Federation League. International relations. See also, list of twin towns and sister cities in Ethiopia. Sister cities. Adama is twinned with. Turkey Sivas, Turkey. United States Aurora, Colorado, United States 22. Climate. Koppen Geiger Climate Classification System classifies its climate as tropical wet and dry, or Adama, also known as Nazareth or Nazre, is a large city in central Ethiopia. From 2003 to 2006, it served as the capital of the Oromia region, before the capital was moved back to nearby Addis Ababa. It is a popular weekend destination for residents of Addis Ababa and hosts many governmental and non governmental conferences. Understand. Adama was renamed Nazare or Nazareth after Nazareth, the childhood hometown of Jesus, in the 1940s. It reverted to Adama in 2000, but is still also known as Nazareth. Being at 1,600 meters altitude, 750 meters lower than Addis Ababa, in the middle of the Rift Valley, Adama is significantly warmer than Addis and other parts of Ethiopian highlands. It is also much drier due to the location between two mountain ranges, with many sunny days even in the middle of the rainy season. The resulting climate is quite pleasant, with daytime temperatures of 25 to 30 degrees Celsius and nights at around 15 degrees year-round. Get in. Adama lies approximately 100 kilometers southeast of Addis Ababa, along the main highway that leads to Djibouti via Daya Dawa. If coming from Addis Ababa, it's probably better to ask the best way to go to Adama at the place where you stay, as the buses no longer depart from Lagar in downtown, like some older guidebooks say, and the main southern, eastern terminal is inconveniently located in Kalati suburb, 10 kilometers from the downtown, and still far from the southernmost LRT station of the same name, more than half an hour and 15 Ber 2019, by very crowded minivan from the city center, but probably at least 300 to 350 Ber, by taxi. When going from Adama, you're likely to be asked where are you going to in Addis, and some places offered, e.g. Meganagna, are both much closer to the city center and near the LRT station. The trip from the Kalati bus terminal to Adama was 50 Burr 2019 while the return trip to Meganagna was 60 Burr. The buses do not follow a strict timetable. Generally the driver waits for the entire bus to fill with passengers, though usually this means that buses leave at least once an hour, less in case of a minibus. Make sure the bus minibus you're going to take is, express which means it goes non-stop via that nice toll road connecting Addis Ababa and Adama. This way, 80 kilometers trip between Addis outskirts and Adama will take just over an hour, but the traffic in Addis could easily double that. On arrival to Adama, the minibus will likely stop a few times on the main road offloading some of the passengers, before turning to the right at the town center. Choose the stop nearest to the place area where you intend to stay, as the bus terminal is a few kilometers away from the center. The Addis Ababa Djibouti Railroad runs through Adama. Get around. Street names and addresses are not discernibly marked if, indeed, they are used at all. The Addis Ababa Daya Dawa Road is the main thoroughfare through the town, and is pretty walkable by African standards, at least in the city center. Blue and white taxis use fixed routes along major streets, and cost less than one burr per person, per ride. These will pick up and let off other passengers along the route. It is possible to hire a taxi for private use called, contract, for a higher fare, which should be agreed upon in advance. A horse-drawn cart, or gary, is even cheaper than a public taxi, though by 2010 these had been largely supplanted by auto rickshaws called, bajaj, after their manufacturer. Bajaj drivers do not particularly pester foreigners passing by there are few, 
if any, white foreigners anyway, but some may try to ask on arrival for more than agreed before, like 100 burr to the bus station instead of 50 in a city rides definitely should be even cheaper, possibly claiming misunderstanding. C. Do. Climb the beautiful surrounding mountains including Ketchema. Buy. Eat. The famous, Tibbs, or, Kurt, raw or roasted beef in the city's famous restaurants specialized in serving roasted beef dishes. Small restaurants on the main street are inexpensive with most expensive meat dishes around 100 to 120 burr, but often there's neither English menu, nor someone speaking enough English to help a foreigner. Aromo language in menus, unlike Amharic, uses Latin script, but the names are quite different from what you could know from Addis. Worth to do some research if you want to try some truly local, or Somalian, delicacies. Drink. Several cheap, around 20 burr per mug bars are available at and near the main road, where you'll see many visitors from Addis enjoying their beer on a weekend. A few nicer club-like bars are open till late, but other than that, there's not much of nightlife in town. As it is Ethiopia, coffee is also cheap, good and easy to find. Sleep. Many inexpensive guesthouses are available in the side streets off the main road, quite a lot of them are signposted in English and or may be found via Google Maps. You may have to walk around a bit if arriving on a weekend, as it's when many people from Addis Ababa come to Adama. The price asked for a clean room with hot shower and old TV in a nice for a guesthouse building was 250 to 300 burr July 2019. One Kanath Rift Valley Hotel, along the Addis Ababa Daya Dawa Road, plus 251-22-441-2345, plus 251-22-111-4444, plus 251-22-111-2345, envelope reaver at telecom.net.et. In a modern, multi-level building, but it shows signs of wear, in the plumbing, specifically. The garden, suite, rooms are newer and quieter. There is a restaurant and outdoor dining area as well as a small cafe, with a large courtyard in the middle suitable for weddings, banquets, etc. The hotel is located across from a filling station where the truck traffic can be noisy at times. As of 2019, a room with accommodations for two persons cost approximately US$30 to US$35 per night. To Safari Lodge Adama, a few blocks south of the Addis Ababa Daya Dawa Road, plus 251-22-1122011, plus 251-22-1122013, envelope lilawaku at hotmail.com. A fairly new hotel, and good value by Western standards. The well-kept rooms are situated around a lush courtyard with a swimming pool and observation tower. As of 2004, a two-room suite with a double bed cost approximately US$26 per night. A full dinner in the hotel restaurant cost US$3 to US$6 per person. Executive Adama Hotel, plus 251-22-1120300. Along the Addis Ababa Diadawa Road. Large, modern hotel, built in 2009. It is located near the base of the cliff at the western edge of the city. As of 2010, the hotel had good service and a good restaurant, with Ethernet not Wi-Fi connections in each room. 3 La Residence Hotel, Peacock Road, Adama. A lot of time and effort was invested into making this a smart traditionally styled hotel. It has faded somewhat since it was built. It is rarely busy, you could be alone there. Electricity and internet can be intermittent. However, it remains a comfortable place to stay. It is one of the few hotels that can be booked online. Updated May 2019. Connect. Most telephone numbers in Adama use the city code 022, or simply 22 from outside Ethiopia, though some numbers use 011, which is the same city code as Addis Ababa. Internet access is available at most hotels, as well as at various internet cafes. Cheaper guesthouses may or may not have Wi-Fi. As of 2019, internet access in Adama uses ADSL connections which provide a usable but not fast connection. 3G mobile internet is available through Ethiotel. Both types of connection can fail at times. Go next. Adama is about 25 kilometers north of the spa town Sodir. Minibuses will take passengers to the entrance of Sodir for a few burr. While there is a large hotel at Sodir, the resort is perhaps more well-suited for day trips, as accommodations are better in Adama. 
Minibuses to the places further east, of which Hara is probably the most interesting for a traveler, are stopping to pick up the passengers at the main road occasionally. Choose the correct southern side of the road, and look for someone shouting the desired town's name. To go to Addis Ababa, it may be better to take a Bajaj to the bus station, as minibuses passing the main road are often already full, and at the bus station it will be easy to choose the destination bus station in Addis, saving time and or money on local transportation there. Awasa. Awasa, Amharic, Awasa also spelled Awasa or Hawasa, is a city in Ethiopia, on the shores of Lake Awasa in the Great Rift Valley. It is located 273 kilometers 170 miles south of Addis Ababa via Bischoftu, 130 kilometers 81 miles east of Sodo, and 75 kilometers 47 miles north of Dilla. The town serves as the capital of the southern nations, nationalities, and peoples region, and is a special zone of this region. It lies on the Trans-African Highway 4 Cairo Cape Town, and has a latitude and longitude of 7 degrees 3 and 38 degrees 28, e and an elevation of 1,708 meters 5,604 feet above sea level. Its name comes from a Sidemic word meaning, wide body of water. Iwasa was capital of the former Sidemo province from about 1978 until the province was abolished with the adoption of the 1995 constitution. This city is home to Hawassa University, which includes an agricultural college, a main campus and a health sciences college, Awasa Adventist College, and a major market. The city is served by Awasa Airport IKO Code Halla, IATA Hour, opened in 1988. Postal service is provided by a main branch. Electricity and telephone service are also available. 1. Important local attractions include the St. Gabriel Church and the Awasa Kenema Stadium. Fishing is a major local industry. History. In September 1994 alone, 194 members of the Sidema Liberation Movement commonly known as SLM-1 to distinguish it from the pro-government SLM-2 were arrested and held in Awasa prison. The chairman of SLM-1, Wald Emanuel Dubail, had fled to the United Kingdom after an unsuccessful attempt in 1992 to assassinate him. 2. The Addis Tribune reported 31 May 2002 that government security forces in Awasa on Friday 24 March, killed 38 farmers who were attempting to demonstrate against the government decision to move the capital of the Sidema zone from Awasa and make it a chartered city, similar to Daya Dawa. 3,000 demonstrators of the Sidema people, the ethnic group that so far had control of the regional capital, had taken to the streets when police declared the demonstration illegal and opened fire. The regional government recently announced the decision to move the administrative center to Alita Wendo. 2. Human Rights Watch had documented the deaths of 25 protesters, 12 of whom were children, and identified 26 more injured. These deaths came shortly after police shootings in Shambu, Ambo, and other towns in Oromia, resulting in five acknowledged student deaths. Rapid deployment forces of the federal and regional police also killed two at a meeting in Cerro the previous year. 3. Population. Demographics. Based on the 2007 census conducted by the Central Statistical Agency of Ethiopia, this zone has a total population of 258,808, of whom 133,123 are men and 125,685 women. While 157,879 or 61% are living in the city of Awasa, the rest of population of this zone is living at surrounding rural Kebbles. A total of 61,279 households were counted in this zone, which results in an average of 4.22 persons to a household, and 57,469 housing units. In 2016, a new industrial park was built in Awasa to accommodate 60,000 jobs at a 1.3 square kilometers or 321 acre site. The five largest ethnic groups reported in Awasa were the Amhara 48.67%, the Sidema 15.43%, the Welata 13.9%, the Oromo 5.21% and the Guruj 2.33%. All other ethnic groups made up 12.46% of the population. Amharic is spoken as a first language by 47.97% of the inhabitants, 21.01% speak Sidemo, 9.58% speak Welata, and 2.07% Oromifa, the remaining 9.37% spoke all other primary languages reported.
The 1994 census reported this town had a total population of 69,169 of whom 35,029 were men and 34,140 were women. Economy. Awasa Industrial Park, Hip, situated on the outskirts of a city flanked by a picturesque Rift Valley Lake. The park that got 18 leading global apparel and textile companies by the end of 2017 is inaugurated by Prime Minister Halemariam de Salane on 20 June 2017. Construction of the park is led by Industrial Parks Development Corporation, IPDC, which is chaired by Arka Bokabe. The park is the first in its kind in the country, consumed more than US$250 million and built in a time of less than one year. The park is implementing Zero Liquid Discharge ZLD, that enables to recycle 90% of sewerage disposal water and fulfills international standards. Covering an area of 1,300,000 square meters 14 million square feet of which 300,000 square meters 3,200,000 square feet is factory shed build-up area, the park have additional area allocated for shared facilities. Religion 59.71% of the population said they were Protestants, 26.99% practiced Ethiopian Orthodox Christianity, 8.14% were Muslim and 3.78% embraced Catholicism. 4. The Latin Catholic minority is pastorally served by the missionary apostolic vicariate of Awasa, which has its cathedral of Kadain Meharit here. Climate. Awasa has a tropical savanna climate Koppen although it borders on a subtropical highland climate. There are two seasons, a lengthy though not intense wet season from March to October and a short dry season from November to February. The extra cloudiness of the wet season is sufficient to make it substantially cooler than the dry season despite a higher sun angle, however, the coolest morning temperatures, often close to freezing, occur during the dry season. Sport Football, soccer, and swimming are the most played games in Awasa, but other sports like basketball and skateboarding are becoming popular among the youth. Biking and running competitions are occasionally held on the main streets of the town. Awasa City SC, Amharic, Awasa Ketema is an Ethiopian football club based in Hawasa, and the club is the first to win the Ethiopian Premier League from outside of Addis Ababa, the capital. In addition to winning the league twice, the club took part twice in CAF Champions League. Education. Hawassa University, established in 1999 through the merger of a number of higher education institutions, is based in the city. Infolink College is the first private engineering college found in Hawassa City. Africa Beza College campus is also in the city. Hawassa University is the first university in Ethiopia to offer hotel management degree program. Awasa is on the eastern shore of Lake Awasa and is a growing resort town with two luxurious resorts directly on the lake, and a large number of cheap and middle-priced hotels. In 2013, many of the streets in Awasa and the walking path on the lake were fixed up with cobblestone, and there is a growing number of good cafes, small bars, and good Ethiopian and European restaurants. Tourism here is mostly local, but Awasa is also a common stop for Cairo to Cape Town travelers and foreign tourists. It is home to renowned Hawassa University. Hawassa is five hours by road from Addis Ababa. Skybus has good and relatively modern Neoplan buses, and runs from Mescal Square in Addis Ababa every day, except Mondays, around 1300 H for 149 Burr for a one-way trip. Buy tickets a day or two before you leave as they often sell out for the day. Get them at the Sky Bus office at Taitu Hotel or on Mescal Square. The bus often leaves late, so expect to arrive around 2100 or later in Awasa. Another option is to take Selim bus Utong bus that runs every day and costs 145 burr. If you want to do this, you should buy a tickets in advance at Mescal Square, opposite to the huge parking lot. The trip takes about five and a half hours. There are also many village buses running between Awasa and surrounding towns, including to Addis Ababa, all day long. They are usually faster and leave whenever they have enough passengers, but they are also less safe. Get around. Iwasa is a small town and walking is the best way to get around. The town center is Piazza Road that goes from the shore of Iwasa Lake eastwards. There is Dash and Bank Visa and Mastercard ATM, and many hotels and restaurants on Piazza. If you need transportation, there are countless blue motorbike rickshaws everywhere in town and a ride should never cost more than a few burr. C. 
One hippos in Lake Owasa walk Piazza Road to the lake. There are plenty of boats that carry tourists to see one of the hippo groups. The tours seem popular with locals and foreign tourists alike. If you are lucky, you see many hippos, or you may just see their ears if they are resting. It's about 500 burr for a boat as of 2013, but you can fit several people to share the cost. Alternatively, if you have the time, sit on a quiet spot next to the lake. Sometimes the hippos come over for food. Lake Owasa Q791631 on Wikidata Lake Owasa on Wikipedia. Do bicycle the 55 kilometers around the lake. It is extraordinarily beautiful opposite of Awasa as you ride the small path through the villages on the shore speckled with cacti and wild olive trees. Beware of the children, especially when they are in a large group with no adult around as they could start grabbing you and throw stuff. Bye. Monday is market day. Eat. The better hotels also have some of the best restaurants in town. Tropical Burger, next to Whataburger Bar and around the corner from the Guesthouse Guesthouse, near the western end of Piazza Road. Quiet setting under palm trees inside a fenced garden, many locals come here too, good fresh juice, local coffee. Since mid-2013 it has free Wi-Fi. 50 burr for a large hamburger, 5 burr for an Ethiopian coffee, 70 burr for a pizza. High Life Bar Plus Grill, Ground Floor, Lake View Hotel, on the lake, a few streets to the south from Piazza Road plus 251-93-010-8351. 7 a.m. till late. Serves a varied menu of fresh and bold flavors. 75 for a full breakfast with any hot drinks and juice, 12 for a coffee, 20 for juice, milkshakes, smoothies, iced tea, ice latte or beer, 35 for snacks, from 40 for lunch and dinner. Venetia, southwest of town center, close to the lake and to Lewis Resort. Run by an Italian and his Ethiopian family, possibly one of the best pizzas you can get outside of Italy. A pizza is about 100 burr and good size as of 2013. Dolce Vita, southwestern part of town, close to Venetia restaurant. Italian restaurant offering good quality Italian fare. Lewis Resort by the lake. A good location right by the lake with good quality food, same as other Lewis cafes in town. Watch the monkeys, they will often steal your food or the sugar bowl that comes with the coffee. Highly resort by the lake north of town. Very good food in a clean and modern hotel restaurant. Service can be a little slow. Drink. Where Piazza Road meets the lake, there is a number of small bars with chairs on the street and music. Some also have fried fish, fresh from the lake. Great to sit outside in the evenings and see the sunset over Lake Owasa. A half litre St. George draft beer is 10 burr, as of 2013. Berra Beer. A smart microbrewery in town. This is a popular drinking place, do not bother with the food. Sleep. Owasa has many hotels of various standards, from the very basic for around 50 burr to up to the luxurious Highly Resort and the Lewis Resort. Rooms in the best hotels typically cost $50 minus $70 per night. Rooms in good traveler hotels with a bed and a shower are between $100 and $150 burr, as of 2013. If you come on Sky Bus from Addis Ababa, it will not stop at the bus station, but on Piazza Road. There are some good and cheap, around 100 burr, and medium-priced hotels close to the bus stop. As of 2013. Guest House, Piazza Road 50 meters before Piazza Road reaches the lake on the left-hand side. Clean, relatively new, mostly quiet, safe, one minute to walk to the lake, five minutes walk into town. Double 130 Ethiopian burrs with bathroom en suite as of 2013. Highly resort just north out of town by the lake. Luxurious resort with swimming pool, etc. Lewis Resort just south out of town by the lake. Luxurious resort with swimming pool, etc. Not to be confused with several Lewis hotels in town. If you are booking for Lewis Resort by the lake, be careful that you are not booking one of the others. Zebra Hotel, next to the roundabout at the beach side of Piazza Road, walk the first dirt road into the houses. New hotel run by an expat. Quiet and clean rooms with a nice garden to relax and a kitchen to use. Good Wi Fi. Single 230 Burr, September 2016. Circle of Life next to the beachside of Piazza Road, nice rooms and a huge garden with included restaurant. Rastafarian vibes. Quite noisy. 
Single 250 birth September 2016. Connect. Go next. Iwasa is less than an hour by bus to Shashemand, known for its Rastafari settlement. Every morning, except Sundays, at 6.30h Sky Bus leaves Awasa bus station to Mescal Square in Addis Ababa. There are daily buses to go to Arba Minch, another resort town famous for its two lakes. Wando Genet is east of Awasa and south of Shashemen. Bahir Dar. Bahir Dar Jerez, Bahiri Dari Bardar, Seashore, is the former capital of Gojam province and the current capital of the Amhara regional state in Ethiopia. Administratively, Bahir Dar is a special zone. Bahir Dar is one of the leading tourist destinations in Ethiopia, with a variety of attractions in the nearby Lake Tana and Blue Nile River. The city is known for its wide avenues lined with palm trees and a variety of colorful flowers. In 2002 it was awarded the UNESCO Cities for Peace Prize for addressing the challenges of rapid urbanization. 1. History. Origins. Originally the settlement was called Bahir Georges. In the 19th century, Bahir Dar was visited by Belgian, French, British and Italian travelers, who described it alternatively as a village or a town. 2, 3, 4. The Italian traveler Mario Alemanni, 1891, estimated its population between 1,200 and 1,600. 5. 20th century. During the early 20th century, the British, desiring to construct a barrage at the outlet of Lake Tanna, dispatched several study teams, such as those of Dupus 1902, Grabham and Black 1920-21, and Cheeseman 1926-34-6-7. In 1930 the Ethiopian government sent to Bahir Dar its own team of experts, who described Bahir Dar as a village with considerable trading activity, with a population from the interior as well as from Lake Tana ports such as Zege. 8. At this time Bahir Dar was characterized by various traditional settlement areas, each of which was distinguished by the social position its members occupied. The Kohenet clergy and Balabit communities were the most important. In addition, three groups of tenant craftsmen communities, tanners, Muslims weavers and the Waito stone mill grinders, lived on Balabat lands. Although all were economically interdependent, there was no intermarriage between the tenant communities or between them and the Balabat and Kohenet. 9. In 1936, Bahir Dar was occupied by the Italians, who gave it modern urban features. Abolishing communal family ownership of land, they instituted private ownership. Alienating the Balabats from their wrist, the allocated land for administration, the army, an airstrip and port facilities. New residential and commercial zones were demarcated. Bahir Dar was connected by motorboats with other Lake Tana ports and by motor roads with Gonda, Debra Marcos and Addis Ababa. 10. The physical and social appearance of Bahir Dar was considerably changed. New settlement patterns emerged, an Italian camp, a Muslim community and a Waito quarter, while the Tanners quarter remained unaffected. Bahir Dar became a melting pot of different people and cultures. In the commercial zone, different types of shops, tea rooms, tailor shops, bars and restaurants run by Italians, Arabs, Somalis and Sudanese made their first appearance. Ethiopian participation in this realm was insignificant. 11. The Italians gave Bahir Dar political importance making it the administrative center of the Lake Tana Southern Territories. They also showed interest in the possibility of developing the Lake Tana and Blue Nile basic agriculturally and of exploiting their waters for hydroelectric power. 11. In 1941, the Ethiopian government was reinstated. It made Bahir Dar a capital, first at a sub-district and then at a district level. Various offices and public services were set up. In 1945 Bahir Dar was raised to the status of a municipality. In the early 1950s, it was considered to be the best site selected for the construction of an alternative capital of Ethiopia. 10. During the 1960s and 1970s, Bahir Dar grew rapidly, being the capital of the Aurija by the same name in the Gojam province. The central government developed it as a market and transportation center of the economic growth of Lake Tana and the Blue Nile Basin. A comprehensive master plan, with the new zoning, was prepared by German experts. Its implementation changed completely the physical appearance of Bahir Dar, which grew as a center of industrial and economic development. It was provided with a water supply, hydroelectric power, improved lake port facilities, 
the Abbey Bridge, textile mills, a hospital and institutions of higher education which now form Bahirdar University. During the Ethiopian Civil War, May 1988 the 603rd Corp of the 3rd Revolutionary Army TLA made its headquarters at Bahir Dar. On 3 to 4 March 1990, the TLA abandoned Bahir Dar in disarray, blowing up the nearby bridge with several hundred soldiers which stopped the TPLF EPRDF forces from occupying the city. However, the Ethiopian People's Revolutionary Democratic Front EPRDF claimed they had too few effectives in the area to capture the town at that time, and the Derg army reoccupied Bahir Dar a few days later. 12. The EPRDF gained permanent control of the city around 1,810 hours on 23 February 1991, as one of the objectives of Operation Tewodros. 13. In the 1990s Bahir Dar experienced remarkable growth and expansion. It has become the capital of the Amhara national state. The country's free market economic policy has encouraged investment and other market potentialities. Today Bahir Dar is not only a center of administration, but also a nucleus of commerce, industry, transport, communication, health, education and tourism. 21st century. The city, in honor of the Millennium Celebrations, hosted a national investment bazaar and trade fair on 6 to 9 January 2007. Malat Gezahen, head of the Trade, Industry and Investment Promotion Coordination Office, told journalists that more than 150 local and foreign companies participated. 14. Geography. Bahir Dar is located at the exit of the Abbey from Lake Tanner at an altitude of 1,820 meters 5 feet above sea level. 9. The city is located approximately 578 kilometers north-northwest of Addis Ababa. The Lake Tanner region is a UNESCO Biopshire Reserve since 2015. 15. Climate. Bahir Dar has a borderline tropical savanna climate Koppen or very close to a subtropical highland climate CWB. Afternoon temperatures are very warm to hot year-round, and morning temperatures cool, however, the diurnal range is much larger in the largely cloudless dry season. Based on the 2007 census conducted by the Central Statistical Agency of Ethiopia CSA, Bahir Dar Special Zone has a total population of 221,991, of whom 108,456 are men and 113,535 women, 180,174 or 81.16% are urban inhabitants, the rest of population are living at rural kebbles around Bahir Dar. At the town of Bahir Dar there are 155,428 inhabitants. The rest of urban population is living at Meshanti, Tiza Bay and Zege towns which are part of Bahir Dar Special Zone. As Philip Briggs notes, Bahir Dar, is not only one of the largest towns in Ethiopia, but also one of the fastest growing. The western outskirts have visibly expanded since the first ion of this guide was published in 1994. 18. Ethnic and Linguistic Composition the three largest ethnic groups reported in Bahir Dar Special Zone were the Amhara 96.23%, the Tigrayan 1.11%, and the Oromo 1.1%. All other ethnic groups made up 1.56% of the population. Amharic was spoken as a first language by 96.78%, and 1.01% spoke Oromifa, the remaining 2.21% spoke all other primary languages reported. The 1994 National Census reported a total population for Bahir Dar of 96,140 in 20,857 households, of whom 45,436 were men and 50,704 women. The three largest ethnic groups reported in the city were the Amhara 93.21%, the Tigrayan 3.98%, and the Oromo 0.7%. All other ethnic groups made up 2.11% of the population. Amharic was spoken as a first language by 95.52%, and 2.93% spoke Tigrinya, the remaining 1.55% spoke all other primary languages reported. Religions. In 2007 census 89.72% of the population said they practiced Ethiopian Orthodox Christianity, 8.47% were Muslim, and 1.62% were Protestants. 20. 
The 1994 national census reported 87.53% practiced Ethiopian Orthodox Christianity, and 11.47% of the population said they were Muslim. 21. The Ethiopian Catholics, who practice the Alexandrian Rite in Jiz language, have a cathedral in the city, which is the episcopal see since 2015 of the Ethiopic Catholic Diocese of Bahia da Desi, one of the suffragan Apaches dioceses, of the Ethiopian Catholic Archipaci of Addis Abeba, a metropolitanate sui juris. Culture. The city offers a small daily market and a very extensive weekly market. There are some music clubs in the city. The Blue Nile Falls Tizasat are located about 30 kilometers to the south. Nowadays the amount of water running through the falls is being reduced and regulated, since the construction of a hydroelectric power dam. Nevertheless, the Blue Nile Falls are still one of the main tourist attractions of Bahia Dar, especially during the rainy season when the water level rises and the falls become greater. Education. Bahia Dar is home to a number of universities and colleges. The most prominent of all is the Bahia Dar University, which projects an enrollment of over 40,000 students in the academic year beginning in October 2012. 22. Bahia Dar University is home to more than 40,000 students. Emperor Haile Selassie inaugurated the technical school in Bahia Dar University on the 11th of June 1963. 23. As part of political initiatives and development efforts in Africa, renewed interest in the higher education in Ethiopia has been the focus of partnerships between governmental and private funders. The Ethiopian university system has been noted as one of the fastest growing systems in the 21st century. 24. Bahir Dar University, one of the largest universities in Ethiopia, has an enrollment of 45,000 students in 65 undergraduate and 67 graduate programs. A Council of Ministers regulation combined the Bahia Dar Polytechnic and Bahia Dar Teachers College in 2000 to establish the university. Supporting the country's objective to attain a middle income status, by 2025, a research priority has produced 11 research centers within the university. 25. As part of the USAID Objective IR 3.2, Improved Workforce Skills Development, an identified strategy of enhancing University partnerships with U.S. universities to strengthen the capacity of Ethiopian universities. Primary and secondary education goals are supported by the university through teacher education programs designed to improve literacy rates, supporting employment and higher education opportunities for citizens. 26. Degrees in science and health support the effort to address Ethiopia's inclusion as one of 57 countries on the health workforce crisis list. 27. Alkan University College is located in Bahir Dar. The Institute of Land Administration was founded and located in Bahir Dar in 2006. Air transportation in Bahir Dar is served by the Bahir Dar Airport, also known as Bilay Zaleke Airport. It has paved runways. Ethiopian Airlines operates daily flights through the facility, linking Bahir Dar with the capital, as well as with Gonda to the northwest. In December 2014 a new domestic airline TNA started flights to Bahir Dar but only on Mondays and Fridays. Additionally, the city is also connected through roads and bus lines to these cities. The most common and convenient way of traveling in Bahir Dar is cycling. Auto rickshaws and share taxis also provide transportation in the city. Intercity bus service is provided by the Selim Bus Line Share Company, Abay Bus S. C. Ethiobus S. C and Sky Bus Transport System which operates daily to and from the capital. Sports. Association football is the most popular sport in Bahir Dar. The 60,000 capacity Bahir Dar Stadium and the 15,000 capacity Bahir Dar University Stadium are the main sports venues. Twin towns, sister cities. Bahir Dar is twinned with United States Cleveland, USA, 2004-28. Israel Ashdod, Israel 2011. Diadawa. Diadawa, Amharic, Diadawa Aromo, Diradawa, lit. Place of remedy, 5 Somali, Diridaba, meaning, where deer hit his spear into the ground, or, the true deer, Arabic, 6 7, is one of two chartered cities, Astadada Akabibi, in Ethiopia, the other being Addis Ababa, the capital. It is divided administratively into two warders, the city proper and the non urban warder of Gergara. 
Dawa lies in the eastern part of the nation, on the Dekatu River, at the foot of a ring of cliffs that has been described as somewhat like a cluster of tea leaves in the bottom of a slop basin. Eight the western outskirts of the city lie on the Goro River, a tributary of the Dekatu River. It is located at the latitude and longitude of 9 degrees 36 and 41 degrees 52 e. The city is an industrial center, home to several markets and the Abatena de Jasmic Yilma International Airport. The projected population for 1 July 2015 was 440,000 for the entire chartered city and 277,000 for the city proper, making the latter the seventh largest city in Ethiopia. History. Origins. The region was already inhabited in Mesolithic times, as revealed by rock paintings and Middle Stone Age artifacts in the cave of Porkefik, only a few kilometers from Diadawa. 910. Historically, the area of Diadawa was originally called Deir de Bay and used to be part of Adil Sultanate during the medieval times and was exclusively settled by the Gurga Deir clan which is a major Somali tribe and after the weakening of Adil Sultanate, the Oromos took advantage and were able to penetrate through the city and settle into these areas and also assimilate some of the local Gurgara clan. 11. 1902-1936. The present-day town of Daya Dawa, 311 kilometers by rail from Djibouti, however, is of very recent origin. It owes its foundation to a technical problem, when it became impossible to lay the Addis Ababa Djibouti railway via Hara because of the steep access to the town, at Menelik II accepted, in a later dated 5 November 1896 that the first part of the line might finish at a village at the foot of the mountains, which should be named Addis Hara, New Hara, 12. The railway reached this location on 24 December 1902, a date which may be considered the day of Daya Dawa's foundation. 13. The new name, however, did not win recognition. In the long run, the local name Daya Dawa was generally accepted. Daya Dawa most probably derives from Aromo Daya Dawa, a place of remedy, and popularly etymologizes in its Amharic form as hill of uncultivated land. For financial and diplomatic reasons the railway was not continued until 1909 and the final inauguration of the whole line from Djibouti to Addis Ababa again delayed by the revolution of 1916 only took place on 7 June 1917. During all this time, Daya Dawa was practically the town profited much and became a boom city, attracting most of the trade which formerly passed through Hara. By 1902 the Ethiopian government, anticipating the future economic importance of Daya Dawa, had already transferred the customs station for trade with the Red Sea from Gildasa to Daya Dawa. 14. Daya Dawa developed into two settlements separated by the Dekatu River, which was dry for most of the year and became a torrent only when it rained. The northwestern part of the town was planned and constructed very regularly, mostly by the engineers of the railway company. At first, this part of the town mostly housed the employees of the railway company, but it later attracted, besides the French, also Greeks, Armenians, other Europeans and Arabs, who opened shops and hotels and founded some industry as well. In 1909 the French Capuchin mission settled in Daya Dawa. At that time Daya Dawa looked like a French town. 12. The other part of the town, southeast of the river, concentrated around the market and was inhabited mainly by Ethiopian, Somali and a few Arab traders. In September 1916 the fleeing troops of Ligiasu took hold of the town. Though Ligiasu's governor there, the Syrian Hasib al-Idlibi, assured their security, 400 Europeans left the town and the rail traffic had to be suspended. After the Battle of Miso, the governmental troops from Addis Ababa re-established a regular administration. 12. During the 1920s, the southeastern part of the town also started to develop. Its inhabitants were mostly Somali and Oromo, the other Ethiopians playing only a minor role. The population here grew to 3,000, while that of the whole town numbered 20,000. Between the two world wars, two hospitals were established in Daya Dawa, one by the railway company and another in 1934 by the government. Education on a primary level was provided by a government school, a Catholic mission school and several schools for the different foreign communities in the town Greek, Italian, Indian, 14. Daya Dawa's first governor was Ato Mersha Nahuzane. Formerly the governor of the strategic village of Gildasa and its environs, Mersha was instrumental in the construction of the first railway and establishment of the railway city. 15, 16. 
The Imperial Railway Company C, played a key role in the early development of the city, particularly Hazira, aka Kezira, under the authority of the Ethiopian government. The original failed company was reorganized as the joint government Franco-Ethiopian Railway in 1908 and, after a period of financial negotiation and recapitalization, construction began anew, linking the city with the Ethiopian capital Addis Ababa in 1917. The Daya Dawa Hara Road was improved in 1928, shortening the travel time to only a few hours. 17. In 1931, the Bank of Ethiopia opened its first branch in the city, 18 and, a generation later, the writer C. F. Ray described the city as the most advanced urban center in the area, with good roads, electric lights, and piped water. 19. 1936-1941. On 9 May 1936 Daya Dawa was occupied by Italian troops coming from Hara, after Somali troops from Djibouti had prevented looting during the period of interregnum. Badoglio and Graziani celebrated their meeting on the railway station of Daya Dawa. The Italians constructed several new buildings in Daya Dawa, especially for the administration and the fascist party. They also improved the roads and enlarged the airport so that their military planes could take off from there to bomb the Patriot forces in the Gara Mulata. 20. As for other towns, the Italians conceived a piano regolator, for the construction of an Italian town in Diadawa. However, their occupation ended before they could complete these plans. During the Italian invasion, Mussolini ordered that Addis Ababa and Diadawa be spared air attacks which included the use of chemical weapons such as mustard gas, and other destruction as a response to the demands of the United States and certain European countries for the safety of their citizens. The Italian army entered the country from the colonies of Eritrea in the north and Somalia in the southeast. Following all major engagements of the war, Diadawa was the location of the meeting of the two Italian forces. General Graziani's units, advancing from Hara, reached the city's barbed wire fence on 6 May 1936, the day after the occupation of Addis Ababa and Emperor Haile Selassie's flight along the railroad to Djibouti and Palestine. They were met by two French armed cars, the railway remained under French administration and they had remained to protect the French interests. The next day, the first train under Italian control left Addis Ababa, it brought Italy's 46th Infantry Regiment and finally closed the pinces of the two Italian invasion forces. The occupation of the town was more or less a formality, 18 although resistance fighters known as Arbegnik patriots continued to operate throughout the conflict. It was officially known by its Italian spelling Dia Dawa during the occupation. 1941-1974 in June 1940 the British started to bomb the town and on 29 March 1941 Daya Dawa was liberated by the Allied forces from Hara. The town remained under British military administration, being the headquarters for the British reserved areas Agadan, till it was handed over to the Ethiopian government in 1947. In the following decades the town greatly expanded and the population grew to 160,000. The infrastructure was ameliorated and several industrial plants were established. 14. Following the restoration of the empire in 1941, Diadawa was among the early provincial towns to have its own soccer league. Around 1947, their team, the Tafari, participated in the Ethiopian Championship Series. That same year, the Railroad Workers Syndicate of Diadawa, a labor union, was formed for welfare purposes. 18. Although its leadership cooperated with the government, its attempt to strike in 1949 was brutally suppressed by imperial troops. At the time, all strikes were seen as forms of insurrection or treason. 21. In 1955, a public address system was installed in the central square to receive and rebroadcast state radio transmissions. 18. 1974-1991. The Ethiopian Revolution affected the city in many ways. Starting March 1974, there was some worker unrest, six people were wounded when police opened fire on demonstrating railwaymen and students on 17 April. Many Europeans, Yemeni Arabs, and Indians left Diadawa, the Greek and Armenian churches were eventually closed due to dwindling membership. On 3 February 1975, the DERG announced that the Cotton Company of Ethiopia was among 14 textile enterprises to be fully nationalized. The cement factory was also later nationalized.
In August 1976, the entire leadership of the local branch of the Teachers' Union was sacked for alleged anti-revolutionary activities. Ten new officials were appointed pending fresh elections. 18. Daya Dawa again played a role in the Ethio-Somali War of 1977-78. It was besieged by the Somali troops till November 1977, when the Ethiopians, Cubans and Russians under General Vasily Petrov took the offensive and pushed the Somalis back. In May 1979, 250 Oromos who were detained in the prisons of Daya Dawa were executed by the Derg regime. 22. According to Gebru Tereke, the success of the Ethiopian army in holding Daya Dawa, the 17th to the 18th of August 1977, against the Somali army was decisive in winning the Agadan War. 23. The war led to widespread dislocation of Ethiopia's native Somali population and subsequent repopulation from other areas of the country greatly decreased their importance around Daya Dawa. 1991 present. Daya Dawa was occupied by the EPRDF on 31 May 1991 and there were reports of about 100 people killed resisting the EPRDF. Both the Issa and Gergera Liberation Front and the Oromo Liberation Front claimed the city. As a result, there were numerous clashes between the two groups from 1991 until 1993. When the Somali regional state was being established in 1993, it wanted Daya Dawa to be its capital. This was opposed by the Oromia region, so the federal government placed the city under its own jurisdiction to avoid territorial conflict between the two regions. 24. On 24 June 2002, a small explosive was detonated at the headquarters of the Ethiopian Railway Commission in Daya Dawa. The Oromo Liberation Front afterwards claimed responsibility for this attack in retaliation, for the continuing harassment of Oromo students, merchants, and farmers by the Ethiopian government. Although blamed for other isolated incidents, this was the latest bombing inside Ethiopia for which the OLF claimed responsibility. 25. Daya Dawa moved out of federal administration to become a chartered city in 2004 after the federal parliament approved the city charter in Proclamation 416 2004. 24. The city was flooded in August 2006 when both the Dekatu River and the Goro River overflowed their banks. About 200 people were reported dead, thousands were displaced and there was extensive damage to homes and markets especially along the Dekatu River. Floods are fairly common during the June-September rainy season. Over 200 people in the region had been killed by flooding in 2005 that did millions of dollars in damage. 26. An overturned truck, heading from Dengago to Daya Dawa, killed 41 people 4 March 2009. The truck was carrying an unknown number of day laborers when the accident happened, and 38 were immediately killed and as many as 50 were injured. Dead and injured were taken to Dilhora Hospital in Daya Dawa. The cause was not immediately known. 27. Currently, there are plans to revitalize the city. A historic and popular part of the city is to be demolished and replaced by a financial center, malls, mixed-use buildings, hotels, recreational facilities, and hospitals. As part of the plan, historical buildings will be renovated, and a new space will be allotted for building new homes and businesses for those displaced by the move. New roads, parks, and an industrial zone will also be built, and major railway project is expected to greatly increase business activity in the city. 28-29. Climate. Daya Dawa has a hot semi-arid climate Koppen climate classification BSH. The mean annual temperature of Daya Dawa is about 25.9 degrees Celsius or 78.6 degrees Fahrenheit. The average maximum temperature of Daya Dawa is 32.8 degrees Celsius or 91.0 degrees Fahrenheit, while its average minimum temperature is about 19.0 degrees Celsius or 66.2 degrees Fahrenheit. The region has two rain seasons, that is, a small rain season from March to April, and a more pronounced rain season that extends from July to August. The aggregate average annual rainfall that the region gets from these two seasons is about 583 mm or 23.0 inches. Demographics. Censuses record that Somali are the greatest percentage of the city, based on the number who claim Somali identity and speak the Somali language. Traditionally the Nol Somali clan used the area as grazing land, and farming in the Lagaha district. 
They live alongside the Gurgara clan which share both Oromo and Somali identities, speaking the Oromo language and tracing their genealogy to the Deer, a Somali clan family. 24. The Issa subclan of the Deer make up a significant number of urban and rural Daya Dawa, whereas a small fraction of the Gadabuersi subclan of the Deer mainly reside in the rural areas to the east of the chartered city-state 33-34. The projected population for 1 July 2015 was 440,000 for the entire chartered city and 277,000 for the city proper, making the latter the seventh largest city in Ethiopia. 1. Based on the 2007 census conducted by the Central Statistical Agency of Ethiopia, CSA, Daya Dawa had a population of 341,834, of whom 171,461 were men and 170,461 women. 233,224 or 68.23% of the population were urban inhabitants. For all of Daya Dawa, 76,815 households were counted living in 72,937 housing units, which resulted in an average of 4.5 persons per household, with urban households having 4.2 people per household on average, and rural households 4.9 people. Ethnic groups in the region include the Oromo 73.61%, Somali 25.94%, Amhara 0.21%, Guruj 0.03%, Silt 0.02%, Argoba 0.02%, among other groups 0.17%, 35. The religion with the most believers in Daya Dawa is Islam with 99.5%, 0.3% are Ethiopian Orthodox, 0.1% Protestant. 36. According to the CSA, as of 2004, 90.76% of the population had safe drinking water, 69.61% of rural and 99.48% of urban inhabitants having access. 37. Values for other reported common indicators of the standard of living for Dawa as of 2005 include the following. 11.4% of the inhabitants fall into the lowest wealth quintile. Adult literacy for men is 76.6% and for women 53%. And the civic infant mortality rate is 71 infant deaths per 1,000 live births, which is less than the nationwide average of 77. At least half of these deaths occurred in the infant's first month of life. 38. Transportation. Daya Dawa is served by a station on the Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway, which is located 10 kilometers northwest of the city center close to the town of Melka Jebdu. In addition, the city is served by the Ethio Djibouti Railways with its western terminus located in the city center. The Daya Dawa Airport offers flights to and from the city. Additionally, the Selim Bus Line Share Company provides intercity bus service. Education. The Daya Dawa University was founded in 2006. Places of Worship. Among the places of worship, they are predominantly Christian churches and temples. Ethiopian Orthodox Tewahedo Church, Ethiopian Evangelical Church Mechanesis, Lutheran World Federation, Ethiopian Kale Haywet Church, Ethiopian Catholic Archipachi of Addis Abeba, Catholic Church, Ethiopian Full Gospel Believers Church. 39. There are also Muslim mosques. Daya Dawa in literature. Daya Dawa was the inspiration for the fictional town, Deborah Dawa, capital of the fictional East African nation, Azania, in the outrageously unpolitically correct tale, 40 Black Mischief by the English author, Evelyn Waugh. Chairman of the Administrative Council. Habtamu Asefa Wagjira 1991-1993. Ishmael Oradin 1993-1995. Solomon Halu 1995-2003. Fisazirihan 2003-2006. Abdulaziz Muhammad 7 August 2006-2008. Adam Farah June 2008-2010. Asad Ziad June 2010-2015. Ibrahim Uthman June 2015-present. This list is based on information from worldstatesman.org. Notable people from Daya Dawa. Ali Bira. Ato Hussein Ishmael. Luciano Violant. Daya Dawa in eastern Ethiopia is one of the country's two chartered cities. Understand. Daya Dawa, which means, place of remedy, is one of two chartered cities in Ethiopia, the other being Addis Ababa, the capital. 
Daya Dawa was founded in 1902 after the Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway reached the area. The railroad could not reach the city of Hara at its higher elevation, so Daya Dawa was built nearby. It is a major hub for many ethnic groups in Ethiopia, especially the Afar, Oromo, and Somali. The city is an industrial center on the Dekatu River, and home to several markets. It lies at the foot of a ring of cliffs that has been described as somewhat like a cluster of tea leaves in the bottom of a slop basin. The entire chartered city has a population of 440,000 and the city proper has 277,000 residents, making the latter the seventh largest city in Ethiopia. Get in. By plane. 1 Abba Tena D. Yilma International Airport Dear IATA. The second largest airport in Ethiopia. Ethiopian Airlines flies several times a day, as well as Air Djibouti and a few other smaller airlines of Middle Eastern countries. The unrecognized breakaway Republic of Somaliland also has an airline that flies to Daya Dawa. Abba Tena de Jasmik Yilma International Airport Q2507539, on Wikidata Abba Tena de Jasmik Yilma International Airport on Wikipedia, updated April 2019. By car. Daya Dawa is connected to Addis Ababa and the historical city of Hara by road, but fly or take train from Addis to get into Daya Dawa. By bus. There are three bus companies operating services linking Addis Ababa and Daya Dawa. The cheapest, least comfortable and slowest is the government local bus service. This can take anything from 12 to 15 hours. The most expensive is the Sky Bus Service, a luxury Chinese coach with toilets and a movie system, which takes around 10 hours. The Salem Bus is a reasonable middle option, which is much quicker than the local service but still a bus rather than a coach. Tickets for government buses are bought in the main bus station. Sky Bus tickets are sold from a discreet office in the Cornell area of town. Salem Bus tickets are purchased at the Samrat Hotel opposite the RAS. Hara is the other major destination. Small mini buses leave whenever they are full from the main bus station and take about an hour. It rarely takes longer than 15 minutes for a minibus to be ready to leave. By train. A brand new railway line has been inaugurated between Djibouti and Addis Abeba, reducing the journey time from days to a few hours. There is one passenger train every second day in each direction. It took the train 11 hours from Addis Ababa to Daya Dawa, July 2019. Bring enough food and water for your trip, since it seemed that the train restaurant ran out of everything in the middle of the trip to Daya Dawa, note that there are no shops nor restaurants at the station. The ticket costs 616 Ethiopian burrs one way, July 2019, and can be bought at a ticket office located at Lagar Lightrail Stop, under the station, advisable a few days in advance. You will get a voucher which you should exchange for your ticket at the train station one hour before the departure. The train station is located outside of the city. Ask at the ticket office for directions, since many taxi drivers do not know how to find it. Taxi to the train station 300 Ethiopian burrs from Olympia. 2 Daya Dawa Railway Station. Inconveniently located almost 10 kilometers outside the city center, in the town of Melka Jebdu. Take a Bajaj to Daya Dawa for around 250 to 300 ETB. Updated June 2019. Get around. The blue and white minibuses are in abundance in Daya Dawa, as well as the small blue taxis. The best way to get around is to use the minibuses or to contract the blue taxis for the duration of your stay. Most Daya Dawa taxi drivers don't have a sense of time, if you tell your contracted taxi driver to pick you up or drop you off at a certain time, expect him to be late an hour or two. C. The French-built train station can give you a 19th century feeling. At night and early in the morning, the Dekatu River Basin has a heartwarming sunset and sunrise scene. 1 Palace of Haile Selassie. A small palace built for former Emperor Haile Selassie. There have been talks to turn this into a museum, but no plans has materialized yet. Updated April 2016. Do. Most of the residents of the city chew the narcotic leaves known as chat, aka cat, cat, catharajulis. In the afternoon, in many places, diadawans sit in circle and consume cat, with several cups of coffee. During this time there could be a heated discussion. Avoid political topics, especially with the Ethiopian Somalis or Somali refugees. Other than that, you could have an interesting experience with the lightly narcotic drug. 
Caution. CAT is illegal in most countries of the EU and the US. Twice yearly, July and December, there is a religious ceremony at the nearby city of Kulubi, 30 Burr by minibus, one hour. It is a mass gathering with many small stalls selling clothes, sugarcane etc. Hotel prices in Daya Dawa double or triple for the three-day period. Buy. Souvenirs, electronics, and clothes. There are two shops in town selling Hara coffee, green and gold is one. Almo is the other. The market near the river has traditional African spices, incense, and fruits such as guava, soursop and custard apple. There are two ATMs in the city at Dashan Bank and Agadan Bank. Eat. Paradiso restaurant found on the road to Hara near the edge of town is regarded as the best Italian in town. It is most famous for lasagna and the roasted goat meat with rice. The traditional Ethiopian dishes are also of high quality. African village has good traditional food. Peacock Hotel has some nice ice cream and pool tables. Sleep. Budget. Basic accommodations are in abundance. Lemon guest house near African village, opposite side of the road. A simple family-run guest house. No running water. 200 Ethiopian burrs per night. Updated August 2019. Mid-range. One African village. Near Sahay pronounced Sahay Hotel. It offers traditional looking huts and has a communal courtyard for meeting other people. The prices are reasonable and based on the size of the room. Updated April 2016. Two Hotel Blossom, plus 251251110393. Updated April 2016. Ras Hotel. Close to downtown in Dawa is quite pricey for the offerings. Updated April 2016. Three Samrat Hotel, plus 251915320402. Updated April 2016. Splurge. Connect. Stay safe. Generally safe. However, you need to pay attention to your belongings. Your backpacks, camera and other shiny tourist items can attract pickpockets and con artists. Recently, due to increasing immigration of Somalians, and a tension that may have created with locals the city is being heavily policed. Avoid political discussions, especially in regards to Somalia.